year, Bank and Tech Awards are in their 22nd year, which I hope this longevity is a real testament to the high quality, reputation, integrity, and a wonderful crowd. So a very good luck to all the finalists and let the party commence. Thank you. <laughs>
And the next award, Best Embedded Finance Initiative. And the winner is Paceline for their project, Paceline Rewards Platform. Let's move on to the next award, Women in Technology. The winner is Amara Masood from NDC Tech. Oh my God, I'm so surprised. <laughs> I came all the way from Pakistan to win this award and I got it. The next category is Tech Leadership. The winner is Joanne Dwyer from the Global Processing Services. Now, unfortunately, Joanne couldn't make it tonight, but I will personally make sure it gets to her. The next one, Rising FinTech Star. The winner is <laughs> Patricia Rogers from AC Worldwide. And it, Patricia can't be here either, but again, we will make sure the award gets to her. Right, the next one is for Tech Team of the Year. And the winner is NatWest Group. This is the best thing ever. We've worked so hard and to finish on this, I mean, it's amazing. Can't say anymore, can't speak, can't speak. <laughs> uh, this is just a start for us. Next year, we'll be back. On to diversity and inclusion excellence. And the winner is JP Morgan Chase & Co. Uh, very exciting, I think I'm autistic myself, I think that there aren't enough opportunities for autistic people in the workplace. So for JP Morgan to stand up and say, we have an autism at work program, we do this successfully, is a statement to other firms to expand that initiative further, but also to the autistic community to say, there's, there's space for you here, there's an opportunity for you here. Best core banking solutions provider. And the winner is Tomenos. The next, best digital banking solutions provider. And the winner is Dreams AB for their project, Dreams Engagement Platform. Let's go to Best Smart Banking Solutions Provider. And the winner is Abaca for their project, The Nespex Action. It's very exciting to get the recognition from the industry in this award. I think AI is driving the next innovation in financial services. We are finishing the year very strongly with a lot of new clients that we're going to announce in Q1, hopefully. So, you'll have to wait. Best open banking solution provider. And the winner is Snoop for their project, Snoop. COVID-19 response technology service and software providers. And the winner is Sinchi for their project, Concetra Bank and Sinchi. Okay, for the last award, we would like to invite Tanya Andreasson, the Editor-in-Chief of FinTech Futures, to present the Editor's Choice Award. And the Editor's Choice Award goes to... Oxburg Bank. It's fantastic to win and be recognised by our peer group and uh, for you know, the hard work we've put over the past few years to build a new bank uh, that's got a real core, you know, mission-driven purpose. After three years of hard work, it's an amazing thing to be recognised and to see so many great winners with such great projects and be one of them, can't beat it. We've got a lot of really exciting initiatives we're hoping to be launching in the coming months and across 2022. Um, you know, we're really going to take the fact that we've put a really huge amount of work into building our own platform and, and starting to offer that out to others in the future. And that's, that's the big thing for us in the future now. Thank you very much for attending the 2021 Banking Tech Awards. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you for being so lovely. Good night.